Hello everyone. This is lab entry number five. Today is the 3rd of April, 2019. My name is Sari Sabban, and today I will be giving you an update on the Dinoflagellate Neural Network Project. I apologize for not posting an update for quite a while now, around two months. That's because I have been facing an issue, uh, which is what I will be discussing with you today and a proposed solution. So when I started the project, I've been in communication with a collection lab uh, discussing with them purchasing permanent slides. Now there was a lack of communication, lack of clear communication between me and them. They were talking about an, uh, uh, a specific product and I thought they were talking about something else. So I thought they were telling me about a permanent slide and turns out they were talking about a, an image. Um, anyway, after uh, several weeks of, actually several months of this, uh, then when the time came to actually purchase the cells, we realized we were talking about two different things. Anyway, uh, I was discussing with them if they can sell me permanent slides. And obviously handling permanent slides would be much easier, cheaper, or well, supposedly cheaper for me. But their prices were too high for my project. So to give you an example, uh, they would sell me around three permanent slides plus shipping for around $1,100, which is more or less my entire budget. <laughs> That's for only one species. So, and I, I needed multiple species. Anyway, so since I, start, I, I decided not to um, continue with them, I've been searching for other collection labs where they would sell me permanent slides, but I haven't found any permanent slides uh, available, at least for dinoflagellates. And I've spoken to a lot of collection labs, around 31 of them, around the world, from New Zealand to United States, Germany, Japan, China, Russia. Anyway, so I've decided that, okay, um, reality is I will not be able to find permanent slides of dinoflagellates. Then I will purchase living cells and make my own permanent slides. And it took me a while to research what is the best medium, what is the best fixative, what is the best way to fix the uh, dinoflagellates into permanent slides so I can store them. And the reason I want to do that is, first of all, I don't want the dinoflagellates moving while I'm imaging them. Two, if I did not image them using my microscope correctly, I have the option of going to a better microscope and re-imaging them. So I found out that the best way to make permanent slides of dinoflagellates was to use glycerol jelly or glycerol gelatin, which took me a while to actually do this. Even though it's actually not very expensive because my lab at the university has gelatin and has glycerol, it took me a while to find phenol. Phenol here is an antiseptic, so you don't get that, you, know, you don't end up with fungus and bacteria growing into your uh, sample. And I tried a permanent slide. This permanent slide here is actually of some just um, dye atoms that I found from the, well, I collected from the sea. And some, it could have some dinoflagellates and some algae, a collection of stuff. And I was just testing to see whether the um, protocol that I read about actually works before I purchased the cells. And it, it does work. Um, you can see here some images where I tested the cells after three weeks. So I prepared these cells and then three weeks later I took these images and you can see the cells are, are quite good. It's, they're imageable, they're, they're, they're not uh, completely destroyed. So I'm going with this system. Now to purchase the cells, now I have to purchase living cells, so I have to logistically make sure that I purchase the cells and I receive them, make permanent slides of them quickly before they die. Unfortunately, I've been struggling with actually finding other uh, collection labs that sell living uh, dinoflagellates or at least sell them at a reasonable price. Some of them are, are around $150, uh, $120 which, without shipping and shipping is usually expensive to Saudi Arabia. Um, and obviously I want to collect as much cells using the budget that I have. So $100 may be a little bit too much. So this is the issue that I have been facing. Now, I haven't spent anything uh, yet. Anyway, what would be the solution now? 
I'm struggling with finding living dinoflagellates uh, at a reasonable price. So one of the solutions that I'm, uh, I'm proposing is to, instead of image and classify only dinoflagellate, I will expand a little bit and image dinoflagellates, diatoms, and algae. Algae was much cheaper to purchase than dinoflagellates and um, diatoms. I'm, I'm not really sure why. Again, I, I understand that much of these per, um, collection labs, first of all, they're not for profit so they're not actually selling these high prices because they're trying to make a profit they're usually non-profit at least the ones i've communicated with through universities or they're part of universities um it's just i totally understand that the protocol for maintaining these living uh, organisms is expensive that's that's life that's research so my solution is to expand, to pivot a little bit and expand. And instead of just classify di only dinoflagellates, I will classify dinoflagellates, algae, and diatoms. And I found that it, at least from one uh, collection lab in Germany, which sells a uh, living cells for around 60 euros for non-profit uh, organizations, which I think I can apply for. Uh, and I think this is more or less a price that at least with my budget will allow me to collect enough cells for a viable neural network. Well, for a, a useful neural network. So it's instead of just classifying between two cells, at least I can get maybe 10, maybe 15, we'll see. Um, and instead of having it a marine uh, cells, they will be freshwater cells. The nice thing about this setup is that as I'm starting the setup but it's easy to it's easily expandable so once i develop the database it's easier just to add to it add to it and retrain the network actually the network is already available if you if you check my github and i've demonstrated it before in one of the previous um, uh, lab entries the neural network is ready it's ready to go i mean don't, i don't need to code it and i didn't need to uh, uh, to optimize it it's it's ready to go. All I need is to purchase the cells, to image them, to push them through the neural network. I have a way of auto-annotating the images instead of manually annotating a thousand images per uh, species. Uh, so again, there's no problem. The only issue I'm facing is uh, purchasing the cells. I hope this lab entry was useful and communicates with you and, tell, and explains to you why I haven't sent out an update for a while now, uh, for two months now. It's because I have been struggling and trying to find a way to purchase the cells at a reasonable price. Once I do purchase the cells, I will send out another lab uh, update, show you w which cells I'm starting out with and hopefully explain to you the progress of the, of the project.